Stand down, all of you. We're done here. Hmm. I kind of wanted to shoot him. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue uh, here in our Edgewater adventure. I think we're probably getting close to the end of our time here. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, we made the decision to divert the power uh, to the Botanical Gardens. And then we went and talked to Adelaide, and she kind of hinted at the fact that she might not be taking the um, workers from the town in, uh, which was not what I was led to believe um, when I made that decision. So I'm a little bit irked about that, but I'm not really 100% sure. So maybe she will take them in when, you know, if they leave and, you know, leave the actual company itself. Because she didn't necessarily say she wouldn't take in the people from the town. She said she wasn't going to take in anybody who's a who's a member of Spacer's Choice, which is the company here. So anyway, it is what it is. We can't undo it now. I still think uh, Reed Thompson's still the, the worst of the two. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and face him, and this is going to be interesting. Here we go. He is going to be pissed at us. And we're probably going to be in for a fight, would be my guess. All the side quests have been done. Oh, wait, no, you know what? You That's right. We have to return to Ludwig. Let's do that first. Thank you for reminding me about that. I completely forgot that we need to go... Uh, to get that turned in. We probably would have been able to do it afterwards, but you never know. So I'd rather get the side quest done first. Okay, so uh, we've got to go around this way to get back to Ludwig. He's just kind of on the other end of town here. What's that noise? This is the, the landing pad down here, so that's where he hangs out. This guy's a little loony, but I, I, I kind of like him, though. <laughs> He's kind of cool. He thinks robots are taking over the world, and he actually was probably right. All right, let's talk to Ludwig. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage Could us. Could be. After what we've learned. You mentioned a logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up, work soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Got to look into getting us a uniform. Yeah, we need a uniform, man. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Yeah, I think I do. So here's a couple bits for your trouble. Couple bits? And a little something to remember me by. What are you going to give me, man? Um, take care. Did he give us something else, or...? Huh. I guess not. Okay, well, we got 500 bits out of the deal and some XP, so good enough. Take care, Ludwig. You're not so, but I love you, man. Okay, let's try this again. Heading down into town. Gonna talk to Thompson. Gonna probably get in a big firefight. Gonna be a bloodbath. It's gonna be awesome. Rizzo's Spectrum. All right, but the guards aren't hostile yet. It sure looks like they still have power in this town. <laughs> I mean, the lights are still on. Okay, well, dude's up there. Oh, we got something going on here. What is this? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. Okay. So. Are we getting paid or not? Any loss of productivity will be deducted from your pay. Nice. The spacers need hiding in there. Choice Corporation Mr. is. Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. 
What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience and contemplate the scriptures. Contemplate the scriptures. Maybe Adelaide was right to leave. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. You already make them do hard labor. Okay, let's talk to, um... What are we supposed to do now? Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. He's probably not happy with me, is he? Okay. I have a feeling like we're probably going to have to kill her. Constable Reyes. She is kind of a biznatch, though, so I, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Phyllis. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. I'm guessing you're the foreman. I already know that you're the foreman. I want to talk to you about... I, I do? Yeah, I guess I want to talk to you about Eugene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. I found your letter to Conrad. Letter to Conrad. I don't remember what that letter was, but I found it. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Yeah, that's... They have, but, you know... Stealth character and all that. You were planning on stealing Eugene's gold teeth. Excuse you. <clears throat> Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's <clears throat> Choice family here. Okay. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit to me. Alright, well, lady, if things get hostile... You're probably not going to live. I'm just going to throw that out there. I will shoot you. And gladly so. Because I don't like you. Alright, how do we get up to the thingamadoodle? Um, I'm trying to remember how to get up to the tower. Through here. Sealed? Wait a minute. Where's the, oh, he's over here. That's right, because we need to get the we need to get the power regulator from here. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Yeah, me Edgewater taking your power away. Edgewater suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town, and I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. I need your power regulator. I don't owe you an explanation to teach you a lesson. Well, you know... I think at the end of the day... I wasn't necessarily trying to teach him a lesson. I was trying to... I think what Adelaide's doing is going to be better for this colony in the long run. So I did it more for the people. And I don't like you. You are an asshole, so there is that. But the real reason why I did it is because I need your power regulator. That power regulator is company property. Not anymore, bub. I'm taking Whatever it. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders <laughs> to fire on you. Intimidate 30. Call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. <laughs> I'm not sorry about all this, Reed. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Um. Well, you know what? The guards are just doing their job. I don't need to kill them. So let's let's make this guy back down. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for, and then leave us be. Okay. Well. Um. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. Hmm. I kind of wanted to shoot him. <laughs> but you know what? Let's just... That's the way we played it out. That's the way we played it out. We don't want unnecessary loss of human life. Too bad we couldn't, couldn't have shot Thompson in the head, though. I would have liked to shoot him. He was an asshole. Thompson. I'm sorry. Did I call him Thompson? I meant Thompson. We could still shoot him anyway. We would have had to take on five guards. Yeah, we we pretty much would have annihilated those guys. Let's see if Reyes has anything more to say. Reed hiding in there? Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Nope. 
She doesn't want to talk to us. Okay. Well, all right. That's that. So, stranger in a strange land, return to the unreliable. You have found a power regulator, return to your ship. So, if we do that, does that mean we're completely done here? Because I had, I was under the impression that there was more quests to do, but if there are, I don't know where we would get them. Well, you know what? Let's just move on. Let's move on. Because I want to get my ship going. For one thing, once we get the power turned on, we'll be able to get into our quarters, and hopefully we'll be able to get, have some storage, among other things there. Can we travel now? Nope. Says there's hostiles nearby. I have no idea where those hostiles are. Oh. They're in here. Oh, you little bastards. These little gremlin things. Okay. Now can we fast travel? There we go. Yeah, I mean, you know what? That was I think that was played out. It would have been kind of fun to do that firefight, but you know, if, if we're going to be in character, I mean, my character's kind of a thief and a scoundrel, but he's not a murderer. He doesn't necessarily want to kill people that don't really deserve to die, you know? So, I feel good about that decision all all told. Oh, good. We got Vicar now. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. <laughs> I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. <laughs> don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you, but I'm not the one that named it. <laughs> okay. I think, now I'm not positive, but I think we could probably use him as a companion now. Uh, maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. All right, let's go talk to Ada. Here, let's Captain. do... I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh, you don't like them, do you, Ada? Okay, let's do a quick save, just in case something happens that I'm not ready for. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? I'm, you stick it in the, the doohickey. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine Let's failure. Let's see if we can avoid that, Our Ada. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. Okay. We're going to install one power regulator. See? Just like this, Maru. You stick it right in the doohickey. Easy. Oh wow, look at the look at our ship's engine, man. That's badass. Is it hot down there? Probably. That is cool looking. Okay, we got power on our ship, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's talk to Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating with an acceptable parameter. That's what I wanted to hear. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Hold on, I need to take care of something. Um... Yeah, hold on. Okay, so... Here, let's go... Let's go check out our quarters first. Sealed? Wait! Come on, man! This is my room! What the hell? Uh, did Max get into his room? Sealed, 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 sealed. Okay, does that mean we have to do like the orbit flight thing? But if we do that, can we come back here or are we like permanently done with this place? That's what I'm not sure about. In the doohickey, exactly. <laughs> um, see, w Vicar, what are you doing, dude? Go. He can't get in this room either. Okay, hold on. Let's look at our, our journal here. Whoa. 
What are we just... We just got something cool. What is this? A shock stick. 131 DPS. One head of melee. It's got Mr. Ouch and a speed grip on it. Oh, nice. Okay, that, that must have been given to us by, um, by Ludwig. This is still better, though. But this could be good if we have to fight mechanicals in the future, which we probably will. Oh, man, that thing's fast. How fast is this? This is a little slower. That is so badass, though. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a vibro blade from, you know, Knights of the Old Republic. Makes me want, want to play a melee character. Okay, so, um, we got three hunting rifles. My goodness, we don't need three hunting rifles. Let's break down uh, the two. I wish we could remove mods and reuse them, but the game doesn't work that way. So, uh, we'll break that down. And we'll break that down. All right, guys. Well, hmm. I have a feeling like there's more stuff that, that could be done here. But I'd, I'm not sure where we would, you know, get the quest to do them sort of thing. Let's modify this pristine weapon. Uh, so I want to install a mag to power, mag to zap. Um, well, you know, we already have the plasma weapon, it, the pla actual plasma rifle, so we could give this shock power, and it's going to be really good against mechanicals in that case. So let's do it. Okay, and then extended O-Sight. No, I don't think we want an O-Sight on an assault rifle, because that's going to make it more... It does increase its range, though, doesn't it? Hmm. A two-time scope that extends the weapon's maximum range. Let me look at something here real quick. Yeah, see, it already has kind of like a reflex sight already built into it, which is the kind of sight you want on an assault rifle, I think, anyway. So I'm not going to install that other... Um, modification. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, so I can come back here. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, there was, because remember we found that one named Canid, which I assumed was a quest to kill him, but I never got the quest for it. Tell you what, let's do. Before we take off, Let's just mess around with a couple more things here. Um, there's one or two other places that we could visit, just for the hell of it. Uh, so we got our sleep in. Let's drink and eat. We don't have any more water, do we? Uh, let's drink these apple juices. We'll get those up, because i got a bunch of these hydration pills now. And let's eat the bread. Yeah, it looks like that gets us back to full health. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Whoop, a flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Okay, but if it's a flaw, it, that means it's going to do something negative, too. Food addiction. You can't seem to stop yourself from eating. What? I'm just... No! I'm trying to eat just so I can keep my bar up, dude. Uh, even food that's bland or horribly f flavored. Not eating often will cause withdrawals. Effects. Food addiction. Withdrawal, dexterity, perception. But we'll get one perk point if we take this. Uh, eating. Okay, so not eating often will cause withdrawals. You know, the thing is, is we always, always have food in our inventory. <clears throat> so we could take this, and then, as, you know, as soon as we get the withdrawal, we just eat something. And we get an extra perk point to do it. 
Boy, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is a trade-off here. All right, so what do we want to take for our perk then? Um, sprint speed, walk speed, weapon, and armor durability loss. That would be a good one to have. Companion crit chance, base armor rating, plus five. That would be useful. Additional ammo stock on vendors. Additional consumable in general stock on vendors. A few bits more. We haven't really had to buy almost... We've bought almost nothing from the vendors except for stuff to drink because everything else we've been able to get from looting. 50 carrying capacity would be nice. Fast travel doesn't count because we're on Supernova. 50% uh, XP from companion kills. Vendor prices, nah. Damage when alone in a party. See, I, this is tempting to take, but the thing is, is once we can get another companion, I'm going to take it. So I don't know, but gosh dang it, man. 25% damage, that's huge. That's huge. Walk speed, sprint speed. Oh, geez. I'm thinking... The durability loss is probably good. Either that or the armor rating. One of these two. You have a base armor rating which adds to any armor you wear. We have the ability to repair in the field. We have plenty of repair parts. Always. I think this is the one to take. Let's do it. Alright, look at us in our bad self, man. Five Plus five to base armor rating. Okay. So we're just going to have to eat a little more frequently, but I don't think that's going to be a problem for us to do. Okay. Now, there's a couple of areas that I want to check out before we leave. One of them is over here. There's like a big old wreck over here. But we're going to have to fight the gorilla guys to do this. And I think the gorilla guys, they seem to be fairly susceptible to plasma um so let's switch out our assault rifle with our no wait where's our oh yeah that's what i want to do right is that what i want to do no that's not what i want to do i want to put the sniper here and i want to put the plasma weapon there okay so let's use our sniper to see if we can get a cheese shot off on these guys. Where are they, though? I thought there was, like, gorillas over here. I'm not seeing them. Okay, well, if they're not here, they're not here. Let's loot. What do we got? What do we got? Here we go. Toughened. What's that? Increases body armor and helmet armor ratings against physical damage. Physical armor rating plus three. Oh man, and that's a that's a pristine mod too. Look at that. We gotta put that sucker on, man. That was worth the price of admission right there. Take all that stuff. Adrenaline time. Already checked him, right? Okay, is that it? Is there anything over here? No. Oh, there's a there's something right there. There's two somethings. A tech kit increases your tech skills. All right, that's cool. And a geographic scanner. We already have one of those. That allows us, in fact, 
we should be wearing this armor here because this has the geographic scanner on it. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to see lootable containers from further away, basically. We've already looted that one, though. Okay, so we get everything. I think we have. All right, so let's do this. Um, there was that named canid uh, that was over by the the geothermal facility. I want to kill him. Oh wait, there's something up here too. Okay, let's check this out. Let's put our gut armor back on. What is this? Okay. Can we get up on this rock? Just trying to get a, a nice little sniper perch. Doesn't want to let me get up there. Okay, what about over here? I love how the grass uh, kind of, you know, goes uh, transparent for you while you're up there. Or in it, inside of it, rather. Okay, so we've got a Vandal, a Lookout, and a Canid. Guarding some kind of a camp there. What's that noise? All right, let's take this guy out first. There we go. Is that it? Got a dead primal there. Ship looks pretty cool from that angle. These guys aren't lootable. Alright, I guess that's it for that. Uh, let's go down this little path here. I think there might be stuff down here too. Oh, wow, we've got like 1,175 <laughs> rounds for this weapon. That's cool. What's up, dude? Cannon skull fin, cannon meat. Let's grab this shovel. Lone grave discovered. Lone grave. Interesting. That is actually kind of interesting because everybody's supposed to be buried in the company cemetery and they're supposed to pay rent for that being buried there. Let's um, break down this and we'll break down that and we'll break down that. And that, yeah, let's break down that too. That doesn't sell for a whole hell of a lot. We can use the weapon parts. Okay, what do we got down here? Another wrecked ship along the shore. Can we go in the water? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. This is not a game that you can swim in the water.
<laughs> Not. No way, Black Widow. Never want to kill you, buddy. Why? Did I kill a spider earlier? I can't remember. Okay, this just comes back over to the spaceport. Which I don't think we've actually totally looted this place either. Now that I think about it. Let's just kind of scope out what's going on. Are these both the same? Yeah, it looks like they are. All right, let's sell all the junk. Um, we'll sell this. Let's sell this. And I think that's probably it. Oh. There's a guard out here. So this is the landing pad. This is where we were supposed... Well, not we, but... Um, the former captain of our ship was supposed to have landed on here, but he didn't. And so they were all irritated about that. Now we got a terminal here. What's this got to say? <clears throat> Exit. Leave conversation. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Captain's identification. Okay. So, oh, remote landing. Oh, okay. That's interesting. <clears throat> so does that mean our ship would be up in space and we would be down here and we would remote land it? How would that work? Unless this game has teleporters like Star Trek, you know? I don't know. These are questions that my mind asks. Look at that forklift. That's cool. <laughs> Can we jump up here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was like some kind of worm things up there. I'm not doing that. There. Are you guys hostile? Bread worm blood. Sliced bread, right next to the uh, oversized maggots. That's exactly what we want to eat for dinner tonight. Hmm. All right, well, let's go kill that named canid. And then we saw a pathway that went up, you know, onto this mountain. I want to walk up there and see what's up there. And then if if we don't come across anything else quest-wise, then I think we'll be ready to leave. But uh, we are out of time for this episode. So we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I will meet you guys uh, in the next episode. I'll meet you over by where that named Canid was. And we'll go from there. We'll kill him. We'll take that pathway up the mountain, see what's up there. Probably die horribly. And then after that, we will leave this place and continue our adventure here in the Outer Worlds. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share out the video, and leave a comment. Those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.